having induced a channel of free electrons by increasing VGS to the point that it was equal to the threshold voltage, we've effectively created a conductor between the source and the drain filled with electrons. But no current flows through this channel until a voltage is applied across it. In this video, we're going to consider the effects of applying a small voltage to the drain. So here's our drain and applying a voltage at the drain that we're going to refer to as VDS. As we do so, electrons begin to flow from the source to the drain. But by convention, you know, the Benjamin Franklin thing, we think of current as the flow of positive ch positively charged particles flowing from a higher voltage to a lower voltage. We're going to continue that convention by defining the current flowing in the channel as positive current flowing from the drain through the channel to the source. We'll label that current I sub D and again, the voltage applied to the drain we're going to call V sub DS. Now, with the VDS being small, we're going to assume that the channel is still uniformly shaped or uniform in depth, and that the gate voltage is uniformly applied across the length of the channel. Previously, we determined that the charge in the channel was given by this expression right here, Q, the charge in the channel is equal to that. And we can then divide Q by the length of the channel to get the charge per unit length, or that. Now, the voltage, VDS, establishes an electric field, an E field, in the channel that's equal to the voltage divided by the length of the channel. Now, the electron drift velocity, the velocity at which the electrons are flowing through the channel then, can be found by taking the mobility of the electrons in the dope semiconductor times the strength of the, of the electric field, E, or that's mu sub n times VDS. From dimensional analysis, then, we can determine I sub D, the current flowing. Of course, I is in terms of coulombs per second. I sub D, then, would be the charge per distance times the distance, the, the electron drift velocity, which is in distance per second. Or we've got then the charge per distance is this, the capacitance times the width of the, of the uh, channel times the overdrive velocity, or the overdrive voltage, times the um, length per distance, which is this. And by rearranging then, we've got this expression for the current in the uh, traveling in the channel. Rearranging the terms then, we have the mobility of the electrons times the capacitance of the, oxid of the uh, oxide layer times what we're going to call the aspect ratio, or W over L, times the overdrive voltage. And this then is multiplied by the drain voltage, VDS. You'll notice then that we've got I is equal to something times VDS. We're going to define this something to be the conductance of the channel. Conductance has the units of 1 over ohms. We'll talk about that in just a second. But by doing so, we have this expression, which is the conductance of the channel, multiplied by VDS. Now, let's look at this conductance term. It consists of three different terms, mu sub n times the capacitance. The product of those two is known as the process transconductance parameter. It's a function of the materials that the, that the conductor is made, uh, the, uh, that the channel is made out of. And we're going to refer to that as k sub n prime. So k sub n prime is simply equal to mu sub n times C of the oxide. The second term is known as the aspect ratio, as I already mentioned. It's just the width of the channel divided by the length of the channel. And finally, we've got the overdrive voltage, which again is the amount of the gate voltage, the amount of the gate voltage exceeds the threshold. Finally, we define one more term called K sub n, which is just this uh, process transconductance parameter times the aspect ratio, which is mu sub n COX times the aspect ratio. And you'll notice that this K sub n term is a, it's a constant that consists of the physical parameters of the transistor itself. 
Thus we can write an expression for the current I sub D then is equal to, to this transconductance G sub DS times V sub DS.